Hey guys, it's Lisa here, repping the squad at the 6th Invitational in Montreal, Canada. This is, of course, the biggest esports tournament for Rainbow Six Siege, but honestly, it's so much more than that. So, why don't I show you around? So the first six invitation, I believe, was in 2017. Let's just think back for a little bit. And now you look at this tournament today in 2020. How do you feel about that? Uh, proud, uh, really proud about uh, uh, all the team, what they did. I would like really congr congratulate the production team because they did an amazing job to create a game that uh, here for a long time. Uh, when I look back at four years ago, it was uh, uh, Ubisoft starting esports, it was something new, something that uh, Ubisoft uh, was not well known for the moment and today we can say that uh, we are an esports uh, company and uh, very proud about the work from uh, all the team around the world. Hi guys, do you mind if I just talk to you guys for one second? I'm very intimidated right now. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. Um, let's go through intro. <laughs> She knows what to do, she knows what to do. So how are you enjoying the event so far? Yeah, you guys keep going, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, like, I was just walking around, there's so much going on, and then I just walk in there, and it's just all, it's it's the experience. It was 110% worth it, it's just blew me away. Like. Also, I noticed the cosplay community in Rainbow Six is almost like no other. Like, you guys are so close. Yeah. So uh, tell me more <laughs> about this community. It's a big family. I mean, we can all just like meet each other like, hey, bro, that's great. How'd you get this patch? How are you like, where are you from? Type the old and it's just so welcoming and it's so open. It's just so good. I want to know though, going into this specific tournament, what were the major storylines that you were watching? Uh, the first one was G2, the reigning defending world champions. They've won the last two events. They get invited. Uh, they don't look as strong as they used to. Uh, Empire finished second last year. They look really, really good. Are they going to be the favorite now that G2 is out? Yeah. How is North America going to do? The Sophia looks to play against the Mute. Two kills for Ninjas in Pajamas, and that's it! There will be a new world champion as G2's era ends in front of our very eyes. Let's talk about that specific match because everyone, you know, G2 are returning champions. They're one of the best teams in Rainbow Six because of their all their accolades. They won so much. What was uh, your thoughts about them? Yeah, for sure. Like the we, we did a boot camp, uh, and then we screamed a lot of a lot of screens with G2, and they were the hardest thing. Like we got screwed on the screen, so like that's why we, when we beat them, we got really happy. You know, we countered them a lot, and we did our best, and. I, we, I think this, this win was one of the best of the tournament because of that. Can I talk to you about this? Like, just a little details? Awesome, come on in. Hi, I'm Lisa. Nice to meet you. Keltham, you're with, I'm guessing, Mega Constructs. It's, were you guys, this is your first time here, right? Yeah. This is the first time that we, uh, we, uh, we are with uh, Ubisoft. Sometimes after, before we uh, will have um, like um, assessing quiz, we work with them, and, but here just, we have fun, so. This is fantastic. Uh, were you involved in constructing this? Tell us actually, details about it. Actually, it's me and my team that just built this one. Oh my God, how long did it take? Oh, it, uh, we took a little bit uh, month and, uh, not month, a week and a half. Yeah. Are there any like funny stories? Were there any difficulties? Like, what was the? Tell me the about the process. Difficulties is as time concerning, <laughs> like usual. <laughs> but it's still, it's very funny. It's just what is have to be accurate, like the the, the real one said. So Ubisoft gave us a 3D, and with that we gonna build exactly the right replica with the right dimension and everything. That's we are proud about uh, taking exactly the same thing. It looks exact. I thought this was what they're gonna give the champion at the end of the tournament. This is the replica. <laughs> yes, big kill there. Muzi goes down. Psycho's gonna have to clutch up hard. He gets the second to die. Only 20 seconds left for that plant. It's a st stick from Rafael. So a one-on-one -on -one effectively here. Psycho wins it. And now another one-on-one -on -one as Rafael's in the post plant. There it is, though. No Psycho way! Four K and ninjas and pajamas. The seven four taking the map and the series. Europe's gone. What do you think this this kind of, I guess, would you call it a loss, or do you think they have something to be proud of? Uh, well, I mean, Europe went from having the final four teams at the Raleigh Major to having one team in the final four here. 
And it was remarkable. You know, only two European teams made it to the top eight, one of which was G2, who got knocked out first and foremost. I think it's just Rogue Rogue is a bad performance on LAN. Navi is currently in a really weird spot that we don't really understand. Uh, Empire surprised everybody. G2 did about as expected, and I think BDS overperformed expectations. I don't really know what happened with Europe. They should have done better than they did, but they didn't. When it comes to Six Invitational, this is when like all the regions come and they face off to see who is better, and there's always that rivalry. Region, obviously EU versus NA, that's a thing. Do you guys like that kind of rivalry? Do you feel that? Yeah, I feel it, to be honest. It's pretty good. It brings some uh, some fun and some um, entertainment around uh, the tournament. So, yeah, I like it. But, uh, yeah, EU is better than NA. Maybe not now, but overall it is. NA should be doing better with how much money is put into it. Again, in typical NA fashion, they care more about AirPods and Ultra Boosts than they do about actually winning events. Intero, at them. I know who you're talking about. At Reciprocity. Team reciprocity. But no, Team Rec, <laughs> Team Rec exceeded my expectations here. They didn't make it out of groups, but they played pretty well. And I got to say, I was impressed with the way they played. All right, so we got a lot of love for the Reciprocity boys. In particular, Laxing and Foxy are friends of the show. So you know what? I waited in line for almost 45 minutes to get their autograph and say hi. Let's see how they react. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We are getting very close now to the front of the line. And this is what we have here. I'm trying to hide my face so we can surprise them. Um, I think it's going really well. I don't think they know that we're here yet. Um, we're getting very, I'm actually getting nervous. <laughs> oh my God, Foxy, I am your biggest fan. I am so honored to meet you right now. <laughs> Say hi to everyone, we're here, friend of our show, Foxy. Uh, can I get your autograph, actually? Can I please get your autograph? I'm, I'm, it's your turn next, hold on. <laughs> you know, I waited 45 minutes in this line to see you guys. That's, that's pretty intense, that's a lot of time. So guys, I waited 45 minutes and this is what he gave us. Come on, come on, come on, come on, give me some more sugar. Give me some, come on. Laxing, I am your biggest fan. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, it's true for both of you guys. He truly does love us. Yeah, yeah. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Can't complain. Just been, you know, being with a lot of the fans and just experiencing, experiencing the event with them. So can't complain. I mean, no. I mean, obviously losing isn't the best, but make it. It makes up for a lot of the loss. Uh, meeting the fans and you know just getting their reactions and still supporting us so I mean it definitely makes up for a lot of it so do you mind if I ask you we're waiting for the reciprocity, reciprocity. signing this is a big moment do you know what you're gonna say to them can you give us a, <laughs> a sample I don't have anything to say to them this I love y'all that's it oh my god that's gonna be so nice for them to hear there's like no barrier between you know members of the community the pro players they're literally just out here and fans can just walk up to them and say hi and ask for autographs, which is really cool. You don't get this a lot in like professional sports scenes, even other esports. Six invitational for our team is, I think, it's the biggest chance of us to show how how strong we are to the world, because uh, lots of people they they think APAC is you know not that good but yeah I think uh, six invitation for us just, yeah a really big chance of just showing how good we are and we I think we did a great job at, at it this time last year invitational we got into you know to the playoffs but then we went against Norango and losing once and then just getting knocked out I think yeah it was not fun so I really love the double elimination at least we got a another chance of making back, so yeah, it's cool. What would this mean if NA were to take it this year? Uh, I think it would be a really nice redemption story for the region that has not won an international event outside of like dream hacks in years. The last official truly international event that we played that North America won 
was the Invitational in 2017, three years That's ago. That's it. He'll head in towards Archives and get caught. The hammer heads into orbit, but it's home once again is North America. Space Station Gaming are your world champions. I think everyone wants to know, like, how big are you guys dreaming? What are the future plans for the esports side of Rainbow Six Siege? Uh, for me, it's, uh, it's a lot of work to do because we have uh, many dreams. I have many dreams in terms of esports. For me, the next big step will be, uh, as soon as possible, the introduction of China. Because if you want to become uh, a tier one title and one of the best titles in the world, you need to introduce China one point, which is today the biggest market on esports. So we are working closely on it with our partner Tencent to develop uh, the game in China. Uh, I'm working closely on developing Korea also because Korea, you know, it's uh, the, the mech of, uh, <laughs> of esports. Uh, so there is uh, uh, the different country we need to work on. We need to develop also more local tournaments. For me, the Canadian Championship is a great example, the US one, the Brazilian one. So we need to continue to make sure that we can create the dream for someone to make sure that tomorrow, and I'm sure that the, the next world champion we, will come from the national and everything we're doing locally. So it's continue working, working with our own DNA. We stay humble and uh, we have a lot of dreams. And that's a wrap on the sixth Invitational. It's been a fantastic tournament. We saw some great art, some amazing games, but more importantly, we saw North America walk away with the championship. So, you know what guys, I gotta go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.